So, hello uh, everyone, and I hope this uh, torrential downpour we just had finds everybody well. So, uh, I want to go over this problem here. I, I, somebody asked me about, I guess, I think problem two is what I have here, right? All right, so I just want to say there's a lot of, there's a lot of statistics in this chapter, and this is really not a course in statistics, but unfortunately, we have to do this, all right? But don't get too bogged down in the math, Okay. Because a lot of times the uh, whoever, the students who actually did the solutions, they were probably C students, and they probably didn't do the math well. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't get too upset about it. But anyway, here's the uh, returns. Okay, they want you to calculate the expected return and the uh, standard deviation. So we'll go over that. But here's the returns, and here's the, right, here's the returns, right, A, B, C, D, E, and here's the probabilities of getting those returns, right? See the probability, 10, 20, 15, all right, so the expected return, that's the first thing, and that should be straightforward. You multiply the probability times the expected return, so you see this was minus 25. You got to be careful here, that's a minus, and that's a minus, and that's a minus, times its corresponding probability, and then you just add them up, and you should get, I have to move it over a little bit, you should get 5.5%. If... If their math is correct, I'm not, I'm not, um, I didn't check their math, but if you got five point, but if you follow this and their numbers are correct, okay, and you should match that. If you did, then great. That's wonderful. Now, the variance is simply this equation right here. The probability times R minus the expected return squared. So here's the expected return squared. So again, you do the probability and you do the, uh, again, here's the, uh, return and here's the expected return and you square it and then you just got to add each one up right sigma means sum them up right so 0.1 times this squared and it's a pain you really should use excel to do this right it's a real pain in the neck and you could I don't, now here's the other problem this may not be following the microsoft excel and i don't think this is following the microsoft excel variance equation because this has got the probability if I was you, I would I would stay away uh, from the variance using Microsoft Excel, and I would just do this longhand, and I would write this out yourself. Just do equal, and then multiply. Put these all in cells, and then just multiply. You can see, I mean, it's really not that bad, right? You make columns, and you put them in cells, okay? And it works out, after you do the math, it comes out to 0.02648, the variance, right? And if if their math is correct again, and you could verify that in uh, Microsoft Excel. Oh God! All right. Anyway, and then the standard deviation is just the square root of that number, right? So I would just take the square root of the, of uh, point oh two six four eight on a calculator, or again a Microsoft Excel, and you should get uh, sixteen uh, point uh, two seven percent. Okay. And again, if the math is correct, and if you use the SQRT function on 0.02648, you should get this number. Now, if you don't get this and if you think the numbers are wrong, email me back and I'll bring up an Excel function and we could do this whole thing in Microsoft Excel. But uh, just see if this works out correctly, all right? So the, your answers are going to be what? 5.5 for the expected return, 0.02648 for the variance, and 16.27 uh, for the standard deviation. All right. Again, uh, if you have problems, just email me back. All righty. See you later.